In 1999, scientists from the State University of Bashkir in Russia sent shockwaves through the archaeological community by claiming to have found undeniable evidence of an advanced ancient civilization. This discovery was a stone slab weighing over one ton, measuring approximately five feet in length and three and a half feet in width. Although at first glance it appeared to be an ordinary stone slab with cracks, this artifact actually held a fascinating mystery, particularly related to the mapping of an ancient region from the past. The Dashka Stone, also known as the Dashka Rock, is a controversial artifact believed by some to be a guide used by the architects of the world. Referred to as the Map of the Creator, it is estimated to be around 120 million years old. Although this sounds impossible and sensational, since its discovery in 1999, this stone tablet, believed to be an ancient map, has both captivated and perplexed researchers even to this day. Its discoverer, Alexander Chuvirov, a professor of physics and mathematics at Bashkir State University, claims to have found the slab by accident. Initially, he and his team were conducting research in the city of Ufa in the Ural Mountains to investigate traces of ancient Chinese influence in the region. During this time, Professor Chuvirov had heard stories from 20th century researchers about various ancient slabs. According to reports, this particular stone slab was found under the house of a community leader in Ufa. Its surface appears to show an astonishingly accurate three-dimensional relief map of the Ural Mountains. Interestingly, the Doshka stone does not just depict the Ural mountain environment, but also a series of civil engineering projects, including channels spanning 7,457 miles, or approximately 12,000 kilometers, along with several dams and hieroglyphic notations of unknown origin. The accuracy and perspective of the map suggests that it was created from an aerial viewpoint. These hieroglyphs, upon further study, remain undeciphered but are believed to be related to ancient Chinese script. Despite the ongoing mysteries, the discoverers of the Dashka stone were astounded by its size. The tablet stands at 58 inches or 148 centimeters tall, is 42 inches or 106 centimeters wide, 6 inches or 16 centimeters thick, and weighs over one ton. Upon closer inspection, researchers were even more surprised. The tablet appears to display the topography of Bashkiria, a region in the Ural Mountains, with remarkable accuracy at a scale of approximately 1 to 1.1 kilometers. The discoverer, Professor Alexander Chuvarov, named the stone Dashka in honor of his granddaughter, who was born on the same day. He immediately understood that the slab was not an ordinary stone. This is a real map and not just a simple one. It's three-dimensional. You can see it for yourself, he told various media outlets. The map of the creator consists of three layers, strongly indicating that it is not a naturally occurring formation, but an artificially created one. The first layer, about 7 inches or 18 centimeters thick, is made of a cement or ceramic-like compound based on dolomite. In geology, dolomite is known as an anhydrous carbonate mineral formed from calcium magnesium carbonate. The second layer, approximately 1 inch or 1 and a half centimeters thick, is made of enriched silicon diopside glass. The final layer is only a few millimeters thick and is composed of a mixture of calcium porcelain, perhaps to provide additional protection to the tablet, or possibly to create a diffusing light effect to illuminate the stone adequately. Some skeptics question the tablet's authenticity, especially the claim that it represents an ancient map. 
Questions about how scientists could identify the locations depicted on the tablet did not have immediate answers. Professor Chuvarov is open to any testing to prove his hypothesis. Initially, he and his team could not imagine the tablet as an ancient map. However, he believes that the Bashkiria relief has not changed much over millions of years. The elevation of Ufa can be identified, and the Ufa Canyon is their main evidence, as previous geological studies found its path precisely where the ancient map indicates. The canyon's shift occurred due to tectonic movement from the east. Eventually, a group of Russian and Chinese experts in various fields such as cartography, physics, mathematics, geology, chemistry, and ancient Chinese language successfully determined that the slab indeed contains a map of the Ural region, showing the Bulya, Ufimka, and Sutolka rivers. The Doshka stone undeniably presents an intriguing archaeological fact, if one believes it to be an ancient map, suggesting that the ancient Ural civilization was more advanced than previously thought. However, the claim that this stone was created 120 million years ago is likely inaccurate. A combined team of specialists from Russia and China has dated the Dashka stone to be between 50 to 120 million years old based on the marine shells embedded within the stone. The researchers derived this age from two ancient shells found embedded in the slab. The first shell, identified as Navicopsina munitus from the Gyrodidae family, is estimated to be about 500 million years old. The second shell, Aculeophilus princeps from the subfamily Aculeomphalini, might be 120 million years old. The exact reason and method by which these intact shells became part of the tablet, or whether they were deliberately included, remain unknown to this day. Scientists speculate that besides the ancient shells, the tablet itself might have been made around 3,000 years ago. However, it is challenging to perform carbon dating on the carvings themselves. This remains an extraordinary date, considering the detailed and sophisticated craftsmanship of the map. Ultimately, the unknown origins of the stone lead many to believe that it could be evidence of ancient technology or that it was given to humanity by a divine entity as a blueprint of the land they inhabited. Comments from peers, including scientists, exhibit similar skepticism. Their simple claim is that, regardless of the stone's age, the cracks resembling the Bashkiria region are merely a coincidence. To skeptics, these cracks are not a map, but an interesting coincidence. So is the Dashka stone a hoax? Well, a compelling piece suggests that if one seeks a short answer, then yes, it could be called a hoax. The long explanation considers that the original story comes from a Russian site named Pravda, known for its reputation for inaccuracy and controversial propaganda. This story was created to attract those with a fascination for the mysterious and unknown, or in other words, conspiracy theorists. It also aimed to catch the attention of orthodox creationists because, if believed, it would indicate that God provided a blueprint to humanity in the history of civilization. Moreover, no official research or publications in globally reputable journals exist regarding the Dashka stone or similar topics. There are no scientific papers authored by the supposed team of Russian and Chinese experts mentioned in earlier reports. Regardless of whether the existence and truth of the Dashka stone lie within the realm of fiction or scientific fact, it ultimately highlights one certainty. Knowledge and mystery always go hand in hand. The uncertain always stimulates our desire and curiosity. What do you think?